Okay, so I'm sure most of you that watch the channel know that I'm a big fan of quad lock. Uh, I've actually got some of their new quad lock Meg, uh, Meg series, Meg case, Meg something on its way. Uh, they're sending me one for the iPhone 14 Pro, so that's awesome. But I saw this because on my motorcycle, um, I have this USB, it's an old USB, USB charger slash iPhone holder. And it came with the bike when I bought it. But of course I have my quad lock uh, mount and everything. So I've got two. So if I take the other mount off, I lose my USB power. So quad lock now has a, look at, check this out. A accessory waterproof 12 volt to USB a smart adapter. So my hope is I can use this somehow to uh, to get this get this on my bike to give me some USB power. That's that's the hope. So um, short video because I think we're just gonna we're just gonna open it and uh, take a look and then uh, I'm gonna go install it on the bike and let you let you know how it works. Okay, so this is it. We got a little we got a little pull tab thing here. Excellent. I like pull tabs and I wanted to make sure I got this out and done because I have to take the tank and everything probably off my bike because I'm mounting something else as well. So because I'm in mount mode, I figured once everything's off, get I don't want to have to take the tank off multiple times. Uh, warranty card, right? Warranty cards are important. Oh, that went farther than I thought. Waterproof 12 volt to USB adapter. Something is this like a, I guess sort of like a wiring wiring options you guys see wiring options right there okay i'll probably i'll probably use that because that's kind of important uh, and this this is it this is the whole thing right important the in auto mode the device will remain on after the engine has been shut off until the battery voltage drops below 12.5 so um cool if it's in auto mode it'll just, but uh i don't know um, I'm going to I'm going to find out, I guess. I'm going to find out if I want to keep it in auto mode and if not. So basically, this this is going to go in and of course this if you have one of these, you know, kind of adapters on your bike already, which I actually do, um I may not necessarily need to install this one because I've got one already and I just I'll just plug into that one. Yes? Yes. Uh and then when I want to charge it, I'll just unplug this and charge and charge it. So that's that's easy. Uh, you do get some zip locks, it looks like, as well as, looks like a cover, some kind of cover there, right? Nice. And last but not least, this is, this is the deal, right? So this, this is going, this is going, oh, I see. So this, this is like, this is like the, the motor dealy, right? So you do have, you guys see it there? You do have an on, you have an off, and you have an auto. So if you want on, you just switch it up. It's got a nice waterproofing auto. So for me, I'll definitely just tur turn it on when I need it, off when I need it. This is this is the power, right? Put this wherever you want. Zip tie this somewhere, somewhere on your bike down low where you know you can access this button. All right, just a quick interruption into the video. Uh, I watched Quadlocks install, and they put that little switch thing like under the seat. Uh, I guess you could do that. I, I, I want to be able to reach the power plug, so I, I didn't want to put it under the seat or somewhere out of the way. Uh, so I ended up actually mounting mine kind of underneath the handlebar area, which is reachable when I'm on the bike, but you can put it wherever you want, I guess. Really, that's it. And then this is going to plug into this, which is going to run all the way back and off you go. Right, is this cool? Uh, this on the other side is the USB. Again, nice and tiny, nothing big and fancy or flashy. Uh, I'm gonna plug in my, my quad lock to it, right? Because I have the quad lock with the uh, MagSafe charger on it. So that's gonna plug into that. I think that'll be excellent, excellent. Um, and, that, and that's it, right? And that's it. And you can see here, do I have my phone? Right, that, there's my quad lock, right? And supposedly the new quad lock mag or whatever are thinner. So yeah, they're sending me one of those. I hope it works with all the old adapters. That's my hope. And uh, I'm gonna go install this. So I'll install it and then I'll show you how it, how it looks. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done. Uh, it actually took a little longer than I thought because I did have to use uh, their cable um, just because I needed the length. So actually, 
cabling is decent. You can't really see any cable till you kind of get up here and then it pops out up there, right? That's good. That's all connected directly to the battery. And then, basically, I've got it mounted down here. So there's that auto off and on. And then I got the USB, the, all the extra USB cable. It's just, I got it tucked underneath here because it comes with a fair bit, of course. And then that USB has a USB that's plugged in to the quad lock uh, that has the, the MagSafe power adapter. This also has the uh, their anti-vibration on it. So it's got the everything, so it should be nice and safe. And then when I come down here and you'll notice the light is off, come down here, switch it on. Boop. There it is, right on, on it is. Super nice, come back down here, turn it off, off. And if I have it in the auto mode, which is, I think, uh, what is that? It's auto is in the center, I think, maybe? Then it'll just detect, right? So yeah, no, that's good. I, I'm gonna probably, I'll leave it off. For the most part, I think off is in the middle. Off so that uh, I just, I'd like to get in that habit right and then turning it on or maybe what i'll do is i'll get in the habit of turning it from off to auto so that if i do stop and you know i forget to turn it off then uh i won't <laughs> it won't completely kill my battery it'll only get down to 12.5 volts and then it'll shut off all right guys so that's the uh, quad lock usb it's you know for a lot of us it's probably something we may have on our bike already but uh, i like their gear it's uh built well wasn't overly hard you just kind of run all the cables and uh tomorrow more installing i think i gotta install i'm gonna install some cameras on here permanently dash cams yeah all right guys uh like comment share subscribe i'll leave links to quad lock down below and uh, we'll see you guys next video later oh i didn't show you this so this this little piece here this is the little rubber piece that you get so what happens is you put it over the end of the uh quad lock and then it sticks out a little bit and then you take your usb and you feed it through it so it it actually attaches to this with a weather seal so now this usb which used to i always used to be concerned because it was always out here and it would you know slowly rust now it's completely protected which is which is awesome oh yeah